part of the Verge Guide to Gmail. Real-time collaborative chat, as exemplified by apps such as Slack, has become a common way to communicate between colleagues and friends, especially since last year when so many of us transitioned to working from home. Google has apparently taken note of this and is pitting itself against Slack by taking two of the features from its corporate workplace app suite chat and spaces previously called Rooms and integrating them into its standard Gmail app. Google Chat allows you to hold chat sessions with friends and groups of friends either on an informal or formal basis. The former can be done just between two people or between several in what Google calls a group conversation. The latter is done via a separate area that Google currently calls a space. What's the difference? According to Google, chat is simply a way for two or more people to chat together without any formalities. For example, if you wanted to quickly talk about where you were going to meet for lunch, you'd create a group conversation among your friends. Once the conversation is done, IDs don't and it will be deleted after five days if you're using a personal rather than a workspace account. A space, on the other hand, is for more long-term conversations. Each space has its own name, remains available for people to leave and rejoin, will send out notifications, and can share files. It's for work projects, party planning, or any other activity where you want to keep the conversation going over the course of days, weeks, or longer. If this sounds useful to you, then the first thing you need to do is activate Google Chat for your Gmail account. Currently, at least, you need to do it separately on your browser and on your mobile device. Activate chat on a mobile app. On the bottom of the screen, instead of just mail and meet icons, you'll now also have chat and space as icons. Activate chat on a browser. Instead of the meet and hangouts boxes that used to be on the left-hand side of your Gmail screen, you'll now have a chat box, a spaces box, and a meet box. Any contacts with whom you previously had chats with via hangouts will appear in the new chat box. Click on their names, and a small pop-up window in the Lower left will show you those previous chats. Note that if you block anyone in Hangouts previously, that blocking isn't going to carry over to chat. And, no teth button on the right of the search box that lets you choose to be active, away, or undisturbed. You can also type in your own status. Begin a chat on the web. Begin a chat on a mobile app. People who are invited to your chat will get an email with a link and will have the option of joining the conversation or blocking it if they are on Hangouts or chat they will get a notification. Whether you're using the web or a mobile app to add a new message, type into the field at the bottom of the screen. A series of icons where they're located. Depends on whether you're using the mobile or web app lets you add emoji or a photo, start an audio or video meeting, essentially, starting Google Meet, and scheduling an event, among others. On the mobile app, if tap the plus sign to the left of the bottom field, you are given a number of things you can add to. Your chat message, including a GIF, a calendar invite, or a Google Drive file, on the web app, most of these are available on the right side of the field. Create a space. A couple of notes about spaces. If you've created a space using a personal account as opposed to a business account, anyone in the space can change its name. There are a few other rules as to the use of spaces that can be found on a Google support page. Correction. An earlier version of this story stated that you can even have rooms within rooms. That is not an available feature and the line has been deleted. We regret the error. Update December 28, 2021, 1.50 p.m. Eastern Time. This article was originally published on June 21, 2021 and has been updated to reflect Google's switch from the term rooms to spaces along with a few other minor changes. The Verge got to Gmail.